Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I wanted to show you an improvement that I made to the dynamic rolling average chart title video that I made earlier this year. There were some issues with the title not displaying correctly when entering focus mode on the visualization. So I found a way to utilize DAX conditional formatting to create a chart title that fixes this issue. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. Now just as a quick reminder, the video that I made last time taught us how to create this dynamic chart title that's up here, where I can go ahead and, in this case, change this value to various different things, and then it will, uh, the number that is in here will be reflected in the actual chart itself, allowing me to adjust the rolling average that I have for that. Now if you're curious how I made this, I'll go ahead and link you over here to the original video, but for this one I just want to show you the improvement that I have over the issue that I'll show you here in just a minute. So the issue itself is, if you go ahead and click on focus mode, notice that it's period, days, adjustable, rolling average. Because what I'd actually done in here, if I was to go ahead and just move this quickly, um, the thing that I put into the buffer inside of this visualization, um, I basically just put a period in there and a bunch of spaces to skew it forward. Um, this was originally created before there was any kind of dynamic titling available in terms of conditional formatting for titles for visualizations. So that was the best solution that I had. Now recently I was at a presentation and I had someone point out a way to improve this using another video that I had done that talked about how to create dynamic titles using DAX. Um, that video can also be linked over here. But let me show you my improved dynamic title rolling average. So this one, if I go ahead and hit focus mode, you'll see that it says 15 days. So if I move this, here we go, you can actually see that there's a 15 days adjustable. So the number that's beneath it, and better said, beneath the slicer that's right here that lets me adjust the number, that's just simply the value being returned with DAX of whatever that is in a concatenated formula. See that the 30 is right there, so that will always change. So th even though you can't actually adjust the slicer anymore once you do a focus mode, the title at least is still very readable at this point, and it doesn't have just a weird period with a bunch of spaces there anymore. So that is just done over here. This line chart here, if you go over to the Format Painter, go down to Title, and again, I have DAX-based conditional formatting applied here, which is just a measure being returned that is concatenation. And based on the field, the rolling average dynamic title. And if I come over here to the actual measure itself, go to DAX, look at my rolling average title, fairly simple measure. So I have a variable declared just to grab that rolling average days value that's already being created in the slicer here. And the result is just formatting that into a whole number and then as well, the rest of the title. So that basically just returns an entire string, which in this case right now is 30 days adjustable rolling average. So a small little tweak to an already really cool technique that I had done previously with that title, um, but that way it just looks a little bit better, specifically when you use that focus mode in here, uh, makes it still readable at the end of the day. And that about covers it for this video. If you liked this video, please click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say about this video or have a suggestion for a future video, please add that to the comment section down below. And if this is your first time here or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video.